Hi friends! Welcome back to another episode of Kayla Creates and today I realized that I haven't just done a regular glam makeup look in quite a long time. So I'm gonna be doing other filming today. I have other ideas um, for future videos, but I do wanna just do a nice glam look. Uh, and I haven't used glitter in a while, like just on my eyes. And I don't know, I'm just feeling it. I'm just feeling a nice glam look. I wanna look like a baddie, I don't know. I'm wearing like a nicer outfit. I am wearing a extra shirt, I don't know. But I don't know, I'm feeling it. It's really rainy outside, which probably isn't the best time to film one of my videos, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, the look that I'm going to be recreating is off of um, is off of TikTok. It's by Michaela. I think you say her last name Noguera. Noguera. Um, but she's like one of my favorite TikTokers. She does awesome makeup videos. I follow her on Instagram. She's she's absolutely amazing. Um, and I'm recreating this really cool like gold cut crease type of thing. Um, this is the video that I'm inspired by. I don't even know if you guys can fully see that, but that is what I am inspired by. So that's what I'm gonna be going for. Uh, I don't think I can insert like, I don't know how to insert clips. I will try, but we will see. Um, so I'm going to start with my eyebrows and just do my normal makeup. Um, and this is just a nice glam batty look, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but I am starting with my eyebrows. I'm using my Benefit Cub Brow in the shade 3. Okay, and then I'm going to cut my brows because I want them to be really intense. I'm using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Fair Warm like usual. Okay, and then for primer, I'm gonna be using my Pretty Vulgar Uncaged Eye Primer thing. None of my gold eyeshadow matches my gold glitter. I think it's the closest I'm gonna get. I was gonna try and use a palette that I haven't used often, but no. All right, so I'm just like not even gonna do a transition shade. I'm just gonna start by packing on gold eyeshadow where I want it to sit on my eye. Um, so I'm using my Alamar Cosmetics. Uh, this is the Rihanna del Caribe. I always feel bad talking about this palette because I can't pronounce it correctly. I really wish I could. I try. Um, but I'm using the shade El Malecion. I don't know, this beautiful gold shade up here. And I'm just gonna sketch out the eye shape that I am hoping for. And I'm not caring if this is super, super pigmented. I know if I wet it, it'll look more pigmented. But um, I'm more just using this for the shape and then I'm gonna be using glitter for the glow. And the glitter that I'm gonna be using today is the NYX Glitter Brilliance. This is just in the shade gold. And I'm gonna be tapping this out into the cap Um, and to stick the glitter on, I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer. So I'm just um, going to be using that same brush to brush this primer onto where I want, on top of that glitter, if that makes any sense at all. And then I'm gonna be tapping on that glitter in that spot.
But yeah, you guys can see just how much of that extra like oomph this eye has from this eye without the actual glitter on it. All right, so all the glitter's on. And now I'm gonna be working on my liner. So she has really big winged eyeliner with like a graphic liner on top. So I'm using my Essence Super Precise Eyeliner um, and I'm gonna start with a really big wing. Wow. Okay, and then I'm going to attempt to do some like black graphic liner. We will see if this looks good or not. I'm kind of worried to be really honest. No, I just like don't really have the eye shape to do the like really intense like graphic liner. I don't know, I just struggle with it. They're just different shapes, guys. This one looks cool. This one I messed up. I have it a little bit too much in my crease. But do I want to change it? Okay, I fix it. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more even at the inner portion of my eyes. Oh no, I'm getting glitter even more everywhere. <gasps> oh no. Glitter's everywhere, it's just getting worse. How, how do people do glitter without getting it all over their face? This is literally why I do my eyes first. Because like, it's everywhere. I'm gonna go wash my hands and try and like, oh my God, I just got more on my face. I'm gonna wash my hands and try and get some of this off. <laughs> I don't know, I got some of it off, definitely not all of it. Maybe I can cover it in foundation. Um, for my primer, I'm using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Oh yeah, do you see the scratch on my face? My neighbor's dog scratched me. It was because I was trying to give him kisses. He was a very good boy. He was just very excited and he scratched me. It looks way better now than it did a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. And for foundation, I'm using my current favorite. This is my The Ordinary uh, Coverage Foundation in the shade 1.2 Neutral. Um, so the concealer that I'm using that I already started to put on my face is uh, the same concealer as before. No, I put foundation on my eyeliner. What is today? What What is going on today? I don't know what, why, what am I doing? I'm filming on a Friday. I have today off and I'm all thrown off like, in all eight ways of my life. Okay, and then before I mess anything else up, I'm gonna set all this with powder and this is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. Um, for bronzer, I'm using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm really tr gonna try and like chisel. And then for blush, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, in, in Ornate. This is cute. And then for highlighter, I'm using one that I have not used in a very long time, but it is like intense. So this is the Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. Um, this, the shade is called Afterglow. I used to be like obsessed with this. Like it is intense. Oh, see like, look at that on my nose. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've just done like cute eyeshadow. And then for eyeliner under my eyes, this is the Jeant Bleu Glittering Star Eyeliner. So it has black, but it has like little bits of glitter as well. So I thought that might look nice. Might scratch me. Oh lordy lordy. Yeah, it's scratchy because of that glitter.
I don't know why I struggle so much putting eyeliner on my lower lash line. I think it's just because I don't do it very often. But I have like so much movement on my under eye. Like I don't understand how people just do this. I'm gonna use just a touch of black eyeshadow to blend this out. All right, and then I am going to make the little like pointy spots on my eyes to bring the eye look together. I like it. Okay, before I put on my lips and my uh, mascara slash lashes, I am gonna set this. This is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh. Okay, for lip liner, this is the Dominique Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner in the shade Crush. It's just kind of a browny pink. All right, and then I'm gonna be using lip gloss on top of this. This is the Iconic London. Ooh, lip plumping gloss. Ooh, I hate lip plumping stuff, but it's fine. The color is cute. And the shade is Love Struck. Lip gloss is so weird to me. Like, I don't use it very often. So it always feels so strange on my lips. And then for mascara, I'm using my Tristique. Good Vibes Mascara, this big chonker right here. What is it about putting on mascara that brings a whole look together? Like, really? Okay, and I do wanna put lashes on because this, I feel like, is like calling for lashes. And I'm gonna be using these guys here. These are the Lily Lashes, in, uh, Faux Mink Lashes in the style Gaia. I almost say the shade every time. I think this is the whole thing. So this is the final look. All right, so that is the final everything. Um, I hope that you enjoyed yourself today. I really like this. I'm like feeling myself. Oh. But um, I'm literally going nowhere. So you're gonna see this makeup look in a couple more videos because I'm gonna just film a bunch of stuff because I wanna be ahead of the game. I do. Because summer's gonna be crazy and I don't wanna get behind and I don't wanna skip a video again. So if you guys enjoyed this look, please give me a thumbs up because I love that. It, or even better, leave me a comment. What was your favorite part? And I hope to see you guys again on the next one. Bye.